Hello everyone and welcome back for another book review. Uh, I just finished this. I wasn't planning on finishing it for another couple of days, but I decided last night to just read through the rest of it. Um, it started off a little bit slow, but it definitely picked up and I, I liked quite a bit how things went in it. And the book that we're discussing today is another Terry Pratchett book. I've just been kind of going through, like I've already started up on the next one that I'm reading, Thud. Um, but the previous one that I just read is one called Going Postal, which uh, follows uh, our, our protagonist, Mr. Moist. Don't make fun of his name. He didn't choose to be named that way. Uh, becomes, uh, unfortunately, the head of the post office and has to fix it up. And, uh, yeah, it's... It's a very interesting story because it's different from what I'm used to from uh, Pratchett's works. A, a lot of the times there's not like a specific goal, really. I mean, there, it, at least not like from the get-go. You kind of get into the book, you, you figure out what's going on, and then you're like, okay, the resolution is going to happen because of this and this. Whereas this book's like, it's immediately like, okay, this is the problem, and this guy has to figure it out, even though it's a lot less direct than that. There's a lot going on in the background. Um, you meet a lot of other characters. There's intrigue. There's um, a lot of cunning and trickery because of the nature of the character. Uh, it's, it's really well done. Like, when I started it, I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it because it had a, a, a slightly different feeling than the other... I mean, it still has the same satire and everything. It's just, um... The overall tone felt a little bit more serious. And also, we were going... We were following a completely new character, whereas most of the books that I've read have followed at least, like, a character that I've known. I mean, aside, Small Gods is his own thing, and... Uh, you meet some people that you knew. Uh, but most of the books that I've read have been, uh, like, about the witches. It's usually following the same few witches. The death books, death and other people he's involved with and, uh, and all that. So this was just, like, a kind of brand new experience. Uh, with a lot of, of characters that I'd never heard of before that you probably won't hear of again because they're more like one-shots in here unless they get told of in passing in later books past this one. Um... But it was very good. It was very well done. Um, like I said, it was a little bit of a slow burn, uh, but definitely uh, by halfway through the book, things were really picking up steam. Things were all starting to happen and you were able to kind of piece a lot of stuff together that from the beginning might have been a little bit hazy. Uh, but all in all, very good. I, I definitely check it out if you if you enjoy uh, Pratchett's work and you want something maybe a little bit different um, I'd say that this one is probably, um, well, not probably, it, it's definitely one of the least magical ones I've read, uh, cause I mean, I've read like all of the Rincewind books and I read the, uh, the, the Weird Sisters and Witches Abroad. I, granted, they don't actually use that much magic in there, but you know, uh, but most of them have a lot of like supernatural because the Discworld lends itself to supernatural, uh, stuff. Because that's, it's basically like a parallel to our world, but with more magic and satire and other things. Uh, so this one was a lot more kind of practical stuff and all that. And I think I, I enjoyed that as well, because as much as I like the, the magicalness and, and everything of uh, Pratchett's books, it's kind of refreshing to, um, to have a book like this that's more like no nonsense um going more off of the the characters uh cunning and their uh and just their past experiences and all of that rather than relying on magic so it, it's quite well done i definitely highly recommend it once again that is going postal by terry pratchett thank you once again for uh stopping by and checking out another one of my book reviews i you're gonna see a lot of pratchett because i i still have at least five books on the shelf that i have not read yet so i'm gonna be going through those and also um going through stuff on my kindle for for things that i don't have physically and uh yeah so yeah once again thank you guys for being here and i hope you all have a fantastic day until the next review